looking for people who are retired that can help put in some work and help build and remodel homes for those without a place to call home. WGEM's Charity Bell is live at Quincy tonight at their latest project with more on how they say you can help. Charity? I'm here inside the house on Quincy Avenue that they're working on remodeling. And if you take a look over here, you can see that there are some construction supplies. And down here, the floorboards are pulled up. But I'm told there's not enough manpower to get the job done in a timely manner. Decent water here. Quincy Area Habitat for Humanity construction manager Richard Jones says they build and remodel homes that low income families can afford. He says right now they're working on this house to get a single mom and her family moved in, but it's taking longer than usual. Normally, it, if we have a lot of volunteers, it usually would take maybe three or four months. He says it has taken them about six weeks so far, and it'll be another eight weeks before they finish. President Lee Lindsay says they have three main volunteers right now and are in need of more. She says without volunteers, they wouldn't be able to function. Well, I think for our painting sanding project, which we're working on right now, working on the woodwork, we could use probably three Three people. Lindsay says a problem they're facing is people will show up and leave before the work is complete. We rely on volunteers and even restaurants who will bring food because if our workers go home for lunch, they might not come back. Jones says there's no experience needed and they'll show you what's needed and how to do it. You have something to give, even if it's just your time. Like I say, don't have to have a skill. We'll try and teach you skills if possible, you know, uh, but it's just a great feeling of satisfaction. And, and that's why I think people should volunteer. Lindsay says the best way you can get involved is to go online or call. That number is 217-316-9311. And in case you missed it, you can find that information on WGEMnews.com. Live in Quincy, Charity Bell, WGEM News.